Human A Ben stands out in a very vibrant coat, but no wedding ring, as she pictured for the first time since she and Anthony Weiner called off their divorce. Huma A Ben was all bundled up in a colorful faux fur coat to take her son to school on Friday morning, but she wasn't wearing her wedding ring following reports she and her disgraced husband Anthony Weiner withdrew their divorce proceedings. The 41-year-old drove her 5-year-old son Jordan to school in a red SUV and parked the vehicle on a New York City street before getting out and walking him the rest of the way. A Ben, a long-time Hillary Clinton aide, looked chic in a $695 Alice plus Olivia coat, which she wore over an all-black ensemble. She donned dark, oversized sunglasses, a gold necklace, and knee-high, wedge boots featuring silver studs for the school run. It is not the first time that Huma has sported the vibrant colored faux fur. In December she stepped out in the same designer jacket when she stepped out for a solo evening on the town in New York City. She also has a multicolored $1,000 mink vest from the same brand, which she wore while dropping her son off at school back in November. On this occasion, David also wore a red lanyard with an ID card around her neck, which looked a bit out of place with her stylish ensemble. The doting mom was seen carrying Jordan's backpack while escorting her son to school, keeping a firm hold of his hand as they crossed the street together. After she dropped Jordan off, Dayben walked to her SUV with her arms crossed, keeping her hands hidden from the winter chill. The school run appears to be the first time Dayben was pictured since she and her estranged husband called off their divorce proceedings. A lawyer for a bet denied submitted paperwork in New York Supreme Court last Wednesday just a few hours before a scheduled 2.15 p.m. hearing in the case with Judge Michael Katz. That filing was signed by both a bet and her husband, who is serving out his 21-month sentence in a Massachusetts prison. Page 6 was the first to report the story. In order to ensure the proceedings have a minimal impact on their child. The parties have decided to attempt to reach a settlement swiftly and privately, Dayben's lawyer said in a statement on Wednesday. Dayben submitted her divorce papers on the same day Weiner appeared in court to enter his guilty plea back in May. This sudden change of heart came just two days after Daily Mail. Com reported that A. Dunn had downloaded classified emails onto Weiner's computer. Weiner is behind bars after entering a guilty plea to a single charge of transferring obscene material to a minor last year. Those charges arose after they limel. Com revealed in September of 2016 that Weiner had been sexting a 15-year-old high school student from North Carolina for months. In the wake of that revelation he had his laptop seized. Emails found on the device led to a second FBI probe into Clinton's email server, which she later claimed cost her the election. The high school student Weiner corresponded with said the online relationship began in January of 2015 while she was a sophomore and lasted for several months. At one point during a Skype chat Weiner asked her to undress and touch herself according to the girl. In another message, Weiner told the teen, I would bust that tight p asterisk 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 why so hard and so often that you would lick and limp for a week. Weiner did not deny exchanging flirtatious messages with the girl. I have repeatedly demonstrated terrible judgment about the people I have communicated with online and the things I have sent, he told the Daily Mail. Come in a statement. I am filled with regret and heartbroken for those I have hurt. While I have provided the Daily Mail with information showing that I have likely been the subject of a hoax, I have no one to blame but me for putting myself in this position. I am sorry. Dayben married Weiner in July 2010 in a ceremony that was officiated by Bill Clinton and covered in the pages of Vogue, getting pregnant with the couple's first child just a few months later. The couple was not even a year into their marriage when news broke that Weiner had been sexting women online after he tweeted out a photo of his erect penis that he had meant to privately send a woman on the social media site. Weiner resigned from Congress soon after, and in December a Ben gave birth to their son Jordan. In 2013, Weiner decided to run for mayor of New York City and also agreed to be filmed for a documentary about his return to politics. Weiner announced he would run in late May. But just two months later allegations emerged that he had continued to sext in the years after he resigned from Congress, using the name Carlos Danger. Among the women who had been corresponding with the politician was a then 22-year-old Sidney Lathers, who said that she had been sharing messages and explicit photos with Weiner as recently as April of that year. She gave constant interviews, spoke with the press and even showed up to Weiner's election night party. This was all captured by the filmmakers.
as were the moments early in Weiner's campaign where his wife was the one who had to make calls and solicit donations for her husband while he assured her he was a reformed man. The two separated for good, however, in August of 2016 when news of another sexting scandal broke, with Abe Bedden spending the next few months focusing on the campaign while Weiner eventually went off to rehab.